The Bible says the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear. The world always gets things wrong. The world thinks if you just get a little more exercise, if you just get a little more medication, if you just get a little more something to feed your flesh, something to affect your body, well, then you'll be okay. The Bible says the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. Do you need the physician? Absolutely. Do you need the exercise? Absolutely. But what we need more than anything is that part of ourselves that is unseen, that part of ourselves that can only commune with God, we need that inner part of ourselves, our spirit, to be strong so we can weather the storms of life. This verse says that you can bear an infirmity, a weakness, a sickness on the flesh, on the outside, if your inside is strong. It can sustain your infirmity. It can hold you up when your body is falling apart. But a wounded spirit, who can bear? When your mind and emotions and will and that part of you that makes up your spirit, when that has been broken, when that has been harmed, when that has been touched, then you have a hard time making it through the lightest of burdens. So as a child of God, put the emphasis where God puts the emphasis. Work on your spirit today. Bodily exercise profiteth little. It does profit. But what are you doing today to feed your mind, your heart, your emotions, your will through the spirit of God? How are you ministering to the spirit of yourself? Because the spirit of man will sustain his infirmity. The best thing you can do to make it through your weakness is to work on that man on the inside. To work on that part of yourself that is not seen. That'll help you with all the things that people can see. Because though our outward man perish, the inward man can be renewed day by day. And that indomitable spirit can give you strength for whatever infirmities the flesh lays upon you.